Hey fam, it is your girl, the one and the only Spicy, and I'm here today with another Pick a Card reading. First and foremost, I want to say welcome to all the new viewers and welcome to all the returning subscribers. I'm just grateful that you all have been tuning in, have been watching these readings, and yeah, let's just keep it going. So the question that I am going to be asking Spirit today is, what are they saying behind your back? So we getting a little nosy today, okay? We're getting the tea. We want to know what they, and that could be anybody on your mind or even a group of people, it's really up to you. What are they saying about you behind your back? So unbeknownst to you, what are the words they are saying about you, okay? So <laughs> um, if you are new to Pick a Card Readings, um, this is how this reading is going to go. You can pause the video right now if you need to and just take a look at all three piles that you have in front of you. You're going to choose which pile that you're attracted to, either by the artwork or even by the crystal. Then you're going to click the description box, scroll down, and click the timestamp that correlates with the pile that you chose or the piles that you have chosen. So for pile one, we have the Mystic Mondays tarot deck with the Pyrite Crystal. For pile two, we have the Ethereal Visions tarot deck with the Amethyst Crystal. And then for pile three, we have the Tinseltown tarot with the Rose Quartz Crystal. So make your choice and I will see you at your reading. All right, my pile one people, I hope all is well. I'm definitely feeling blessed and I'm grateful to be here doing this reading for y'all. Welcome to all the new viewers and a special welcome back to all the returning subscribers. I'm grateful for y'all. Make sure you check out the information in the description box. There you can find links to following me on Instagram, donating to this channel if you would like to, uh, booking a personal reading with me, and also checking out my Etsy store where I post my 3D and hand painted gel press on nails so definitely make sure you check out what i'm doing around the web y'all i'm so excited to be here i know i haven't posted in some days but i've literally um just been busy wrapping up the school year of course and of course you know working on some other projects but i'm back and i'm excited to be here because i actually really do like reading tarot so <laughs> the question that we are asking spirit today is what are they saying behind your back i have um of course with the tarot deck i have two other oracle decks that i'm going to be using a divine feminine oracle deck and then also the tea leaves just for some additional messages and y'all know the tea leaves really be saying a lot of stuff so just make sure that you take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Like, don't try to force a reading if it doesn't fit. Just choose another pile or choose another reading or even choose another reader because, look, this is YouTube, okay? So I'm grateful that y'all are here with me and let's use our time wisely. So we just want to get some messages and see what comes out um, as far as, you know, what they are saying about you um, behind your back what they are saying about you behind your back so the first thing that came up is whomever is talking about you it's like they are questioning your ability to make decisions so this person might see you as like they might say oh you're a procrastinator or they might think that's like you don't know what you want um they might think that you take your, um, they might say like you take your cues from other people. Yeah, like, I think this person who's talking about you, like, a lot of what they're saying is like underestimating you and potentially, you know, your actual true power. Um, but it's just something here that's coming up as far as like they think that you are um, a procrastinator especially when it comes to others so i don't know if this is like someone that you work with um like a business partner or even someone that you like work with like this is potentially people talking about you at work um something like that um it's just giving like that you work with this person or you have to collaborate with this person like you have to work in groups with this person so for some of y'all that are in school this could even be like a group a group uh a group mate or something like y'all might be working on a project together something like that but they just they just feel like you take too long to act like like you're stagnant or you're a procrastinator or 
you try not to be decisive, you know, making decisions, especially when it comes to working with others. Some, some uh, these people also feel like, oh yeah, they definitely do get the vibe. They they probably say like you're a loner, or they might think you're an introvert, like that you don't really like to deal with too many people, or you stay to yourself. Something like that. Some of these people think that you... Well, whoever is talking about you is like... They they might definitely say that like, oh, you a loner. You only be, you only be with yourself. Um, you only maybe focus on yourself. Um, you're focused on what's going on in your world. And that's all that matters. So, But they see it as far as like with you working with other people or you being with other people. They feel like maybe you procrastinate. So maybe you... You know, you just try to stay away from others or you don't try to do too much. Um, for some of the, some of these people also is like they think that y'all are like aimless in a sense. Like with you, you procrastinate because you're aimless. You can't come to decisions. Um, they feel like you are some of them feel like you're depressed. Like you just keep yourself away from other people. Like you stay to yourself. I probably should have did like a trigger warning thing, right? Because but this is not how I feel about you. I'm just, <laughs> this is what these people are saying about you. So, you know, it may or may not be true, but it's always, it's based on that other person's perceptions of you. It's not, it don't necessarily have to be you. But yeah, it's like you keep yourself to yourself. Some of them think you, <laughs> like, they feel like, because if you do keep yourself to yourself, like you're an introvert, they feel like, oh, it's probably because you think you're better than other people or you put yourself on a pedestal or, you know, some of them feel like, oh, you think you're the star of the show. Um, They talking a lot of S-H-I-Z, you know, but for the most part, they just see you as being someone you probably bored with life or they think you have like these dreams, you know, I don't know if they think your dreams are possible because they do feel like you're aimless and you procrastinate. Um, maybe potentially even saying that you think you're better than other people. You put yourself on a high pedestal. You you too good to be with us regular working folk. <laughs> you know what I say? You too good to be with us regular people. Like that type of energy. But they definitely do still feel like you're aimless. They feel like you're confused. They feel like you have a lack of apathy towards like, like not a lack of apathy, but a apathy, which is like, you don't care. You know, you don't care about what you have. Maybe some of them think that, uh, what's you could also potentially be ungrateful. Like you're not grateful for what you have. You always feel like you are missing something. You always going off by yourself. You, you doing your own thing, but it's kind of like you separating yourself from other people. Um, that's the type of energy that they are, what the things that they're saying, but let's see, let's see what else, let's see what else. Um, so I mean, they do acknowledge that you are working on something. So they would probably say like, oh, you don't care about what's going on here with us. You too busy focusing on your own thing. I think that's the message that came up. Like, oh, you too busy focusing on your own thing. Because um, it's not like you have a... It's not like you a procrastinator for real. I just think that you don't... you Like, if something doesn't work for you, it's like you're going to sacrifice that thing. So maybe these people that are talking or this person that's talking is not really somebody that you, can, that you care to concern yourself with. Um, <laughs> that's something they don't know, but you may not care to concern yourself with that person. Like, you know, that you have to have, that you're connected to this person. This is probably somebody that you work with. This is, this could even be someone that you live with. So there's some type of connection to this person. You know what I'm saying? Of course it's a connection, right? But I'm saying like, you might need this person. Y'all might depend on each other. Um, it's some type of relationship like that. So it could be like you living with some, someone, you living with family or you work with someone. Um, or if, if you're in school, it's like you have to work with them. It's a group project, you know, but yeah, they might feel like you're busy focusing and tending to your own thing. Um, you're not really focused on whatever the group is. So I feel like they think that you throw off the group dynamics, you know, because you're so focused on you. Um, but yeah, this person probably does, uh, they do pick up on like you potentially being an introvert or, you know, you just, 
you just not focused on them, you know? You're, and some of them uh, do think that you're aimless also. They think you're aimless. Um, but yeah, I mean, these people, they will say that they do... If you're a spiritual person, this person also, like, whoever's talking about you, like, they acknowledge that as well. Um, so it may just be that they don't really have too much influence over you. Like, they would acknowledge that, like... They would say like nobody can really influence this person like whatever they feel like goes for them like <laughs> you know so they definitely do acknowledge that there's a type of spirituality within you that you're listening to yourself like you just kind of go with the wind um whatever floats your boat type of energy thing that's what they feel like like you're not influenced by no one else you're just influenced by yourself and whatever you want um just i don't know it's kind of giving like outsider vibes but it's more so like just introvert vibes like they they definitely do pick up on that um but yeah some of them are hating with that comment thinking that you put yourself on a pedestal that you're better than them you don't have time to really hang out with you know <laughs> you don't have time to hang out with the regular working folks <laughs> something like that um so yeah they are definitely saying that you're uh, um you're an introvert and you kind of do your own thing. But yeah, there is an energy here where they also feel like you're aimless or you don't come to decisions easily. Um, you're bored with life, that type of thing as well. So let's see what comes up with the uh, this deck. This is the a Divine Feminine Oracle deck. And let's see what comes out. Just give me a second to shuffle this deck. So for y'all, we have the switch up. <laughs> so whoever's talking about you, they might feel like you have switched up on them or you just have a different type of attitude. Um, they might see you as being um, even, I don't know if it's deceptive. I don't know if it's deceptive as much. Um, because the snake does also um, talk about transformation. And I feel like it's more so like... Uh, just like you've changed you know what i'm saying like you're not how you used to be so maybe whoever this person is talking about you like you used to be up in a face you know what i'm saying when i mean that i mean like you probably used to really participate in the connection between the both of y'all like participate in the relationship maybe you used to actually care but they're showing some type of boredom with this individual so maybe you're not interested in this relationship no more you know, whether that be a love relationship, whether that be somebody that you're working with is like business partner. It's like you're not interested in that relationship. So this person is perceiving this as, oh, you switching up. Oh, you're not the same no more. Oh, you changed, you know, that type of thing. So they could definitely be talking about you changing. Um, the card that I saw that had fell out on the ground was narc repellent. So maybe whoever it is on your mind um maybe that there's someone who's dealing with the personality disorder so you are distancing yourself away from that person um but then we also have creativity here as well so you know despite all of this this person could potentially see you as a um and they could say oh you're a creative person you're just withdrawn like but yeah um even with the seven of pentacles it's like you're tending to your own things like you're watering your own grass, you're focusing on, you know, the things that you want to do. So maybe they see that you're putting a lot of energy into that. You're, you know, and those things are materializing. But as far as like within you and their perspective, maybe within the relationship that y'all have is like they just see you as being a procrastinator. They see you as, you know, not really taking any, um, not really having any, um, sound making any sound decisions or anything when it comes to them so they might see you as a bit aimless but they do acknowledge that you are focused on something that you are focused on creating something um yeah maybe you just became a bit withdrawn into yourself you know so they are perceiving that as like oh this person's changed oh you switching up oh you not who you used to be that type of thing so let's get the tea leaves um and let's see what the tea leaves have to say because the tea leaves always, they're so random. They be so random, y'all. They really do. <laughs> they be so random. Um, okay, so we have chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Um, we have gong, an exciting event. And 
yeah, with someone, someone is leaving your life. Maybe that's this person. Maybe that's this person. Then we also have great happiness. I feel like this is what's actually really going on with you. It's like the, the messages before is things that people are saying about you, like what they're saying behind your back. But I feel like these are actual things that's going on with you because when you take it out of the perspective, when I look at these cards and take it out of the perspective of like, what are they saying about you? It's like, what's really going on with you is like, you really are, you know, developing yourself into just being a, a powerhouse that's why i'm just like this person the perception that they have about you and what they're saying doesn't match up to what's actually going on with you because we have the star card here we have the the three of pentacles it's like you're clearly building something and it takes a lot of faith and it's taking a lot of hope it's taking sacrifice you know it's taking you having to separate yourself from other people because clearly you're not satisfied with what it is that you have right now in life. And that's okay. You can be grateful, but you don't necessarily have to be satisfied. You can keep achieving. So it just seems like this person is not seeing it that way. They're just more so focused on, okay, well, this is how I see you. You seem like you're aimless. You seem like you going off and doing your own thing. Like you concerned with your own thing. You're not concerned with us or me. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you switched up. You never used to be this way. Like, that's what they saying. But what's really going on with you is you're focused on these great things. Because I see all these great cards. I see an exciting event, great happiness, chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Maybe it's this person. Maybe they're afraid. Um, That's why they keep talking about you switching up, you know? And we have dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Especially with that seven of pentacles, that's what that's giving me. And then we have Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So yeah, they are right. You have switched up, okay? You have switched up. And then Karma, you will reap what you have sown. It's like, yeah, you have switched up, but you are working towards something, <laughs> okay? Yeah, you did switch up. That's a fact. You did. And then we also have Grasshopper. Situations in the balance that require careful handling so yeah i just feel like you are connected to this person so it might cause for you to you know have to you know <laughs> tread lightly when it comes to this but this is really what they saying about you um let's see what else comes up and we won't end this reading we have needle and thread a sincere wish will be granted so it's like this person is saying a lot of things but i'm not sure if it 100 percent um is you know <laughs> i'm not sure i don't think it's 100 percent matching up with the reality of the situation and that's really how it is with perception but at least you know what they are saying about you and then i also gave you some information about like what's actually really going on with you so um i think i'm gonna go ahead and leave it right there you know we getting back into it little by little um and yeah definitely make sure that y'all stay tuned for more readings make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next one all right my pile two people if you chose the ethereal visions tarot deck with the amethyst crystal we're gonna get started with your reading now i hope everyone is well i'm feeling blessed and grateful the weather is nice it was raining crazy earlier but now it's just so nice outside so yeah uh welcome to all the new viewers and a special welcome back to all the returning subscribers thank y'all so much i'm grateful and i can't uh wait to just you know continue putting out some more readings now, I know I've been going for a couple days, but I've really been getting some other things done. But I sometimes I don't mind those breaks because I'm just ready to come back and I'm ready to read. Like, so let's just go ahead and blitz. OK, let's post some more readings. But um, with that being said, make sure you check out the links in the description box. In the description box, there are links for following me on Instagram, donating to this channel, uh, booking a personal reading with me if you would like to and then also checking out my Etsy store where I post my 3D and hand painted uh, press on nails gel press on nails so definitely make sure you check that out uh yeah so the question that we're asking spirit is you know what are they saying about you behind your back and um Definitely want to say that perception does not always mean it's reality, okay? What what someone else thinks about you or what they're saying about you might not align with what's actually going on with you. Um, so yeah, trigger warning. If somebody says something that you don't like, don't get mad at me, okay? 
And um, yeah, so I have two other decks over here that I'm going to be using in addition to the tarot deck, a divine feminine oracle deck. And then I'm going to be using the tea leaves and the tea leaves. The question I'm going to be asking is like, what's actually really going on with you? Because what I realized, especially from doing pile one is like, just because somebody's saying this thing about you does not necessarily mean that that's what's going on with you. Like I said earlier. So, excuse me. So, yeah. We're going to see what actually really is going on with you because, like I said, perception does not necessarily equal reality. It's just what someone thinks. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get going. Let's go ahead and get going. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whoever, yeah, whoever is talking about you, I'm going to get some clarification too on that King of Pentacles, but I feel like... You know what? Let me get some clarification cards before I get into it because I be I be ready like when I haven't read in a while, I definitely get ready. Like I'm ready. Once I start pulling cards, I'm like, okay, this is the message. But Okay, so whomever is talking about you, I think this is more so like a, it's a, it could be a crush, crush or a secret admirer, someone who really admires you, someone who really likes you. And the things that they're saying behind your back is like, they feel like, uh, like you entice them, like you're enticing. What I just heard was like hot and tempting, you know, pretty hot and tempting. So they definitely do, um, they 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 you entice them okay you entice this person like they could see themselves having a romantic connection with you but i believe that this person that's talking about you they also would say like they don't think that they're ready to be with you or they're still trying to figure out like what could they actually offer you um some of them are afraid to come towards you that's that they, they could be saying that to other people like, i'm afraid to come towards him or her because they just seem cutthroat like if i don't come correct they really not gonna want to deal with me that type of thing you know like you're cutthroat like you can see right through them <laughs> i just heard that Nicki minaj song where she be like you see right through me how do you do that <laughs> how do you do that so it seems like this person um is telling other people like they don't think they good enough for you or Nah, she gonna require too much or he gonna require too much, that type of thing. But I do think that um, this person talking about you, like, they definitely could see you as being like um, a soulmate or something like that. They're just watching you from a distance. You know what I'm saying? Like, they in the shadows watch you from a distance, um, that type of thing. But I do think this person wants to have some type of intimacy with you. So they might be telling other people, like, you know, I want to, I would definitely want to spend some time with this person. Um, what type of time they trying to spend in the things they trying to do? Uh, <laughs> I'm too shy to say, but at the same time, I feel like long-term wise, like having a serious connection with you, is not something they would tell other people, like, it's not something I'm capable of doing. I think this person is dealing with some type of money issues, but they just feel like you would require a lot. And if they didn't come correct, then you would not want to deal with them. You know, you would put up your boundaries. Like you're focused on you. You're focused on yourself. I feel like these, this person is telling other people that like, they kind of just want to wrap you up. Um, it's kind of giving me an air of possessiveness a little bit. And you know, possess possessiveness can, can potentially become dangerous. It can, it can. Some people think that somebody being possessive over them is cute. It it could it could potentially get dangerous, especially when it comes with control. But it just seems as though this person who's talking about you is like they want to get a whole lot of something for nothing. Because this person right now is like they dealing with some money issues. You know what I'm saying? They may not have the finances to really do for you as they would really like to, but they could be telling people that as well. Like they're not, you know, as financially stable, as financially set to be able to do things for you. Um, but yeah, and I also think that 
this person also tells others that like they could potentially come up short, you know, like they could potentially come up short when it comes to you. Kind of the same message, just them coming up short. Maybe they feel like, you know, they can't really sit at your table or you're very successful and maybe they can't match that level of success or match whatever it is that you're doing. It's that type of energy, but um, yeah, I think this person goes back and forth a lot when they talk about you. They might be a little indecisive. They would tell that like to as far as what they want to do with you. But like I said, this person, I feel like they could be a secret admirer, a crush. Like they're talking to their friends or, you know, they're talking to other people about you. Or this could even be someone that you're in a relationship with. And maybe you don't know the full story as far as with this person's financial situation. Like the fact that, you know, not to say that they're broke. But it's just saying that they could be having some financial setbacks right now um, that might uh, affect them being able to step to you that the way in which they would like to. Um, but I do think this person, they kind of see you as a soulmate and um, they see they see some type of, you know, it's like it's giving me like romance and intimacy. Like they would like to have that with you or maybe they have that with you right now and they just want to keep it. So that's probably where that possessiveness is coming from. It's like they want to keep things as it is. But I really do feel like behind the scenes is like this person is dealing with some type of, like I said, financial issues. But maybe they're just trying to hold on to you as much as they can. What I heard was hold on to your love. I think it's by in vogue, right? <laughs> hold on to your love. So that's something that they could potentially be trying to do. Hold on to what they can't hold on. So if y'all do have a good rapport with each other, if y'all are dating each other, it's not just a secret admirer. Is like they trying to hold on to the relationship as it is. But I feel like this person is having some um, financial issues. Um, they definitely are. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person will also be telling other people that like, yeah, though they find you to be a soulmate, they might be having some difficulties with letting go of their past. Or even just moving on into happier times. It seemed like this person might go through some, uh, like, it's like self-sabotaging is kind of what I'm hearing. Like, maybe they're telling other people they don't want to self-sabotage things because they've been unhappy and they've been disappointed in the past. Um, yeah, this person, they definitely do have a lot of feelings for you. They really do. But I think that this is really just the fears with this person. Like they fear, you know, potentially messing things up, uh, messing up this connection because of things in the past. I feel like this person would like to spend time with you, you know, would like to be able to go out with you. But it's something here where it's just like, y'all don't, maybe you don't get to spend as much time together. This could be a long distance thing. Or if this is a crush, maybe it's someone who would like to take you out, would like to do something nice for you, but can't. For whatever reason. Um, but yeah, let me get... All right, we could put this here. Yeah, it's just some type of disappointment that this person is experiencing. I feel like they want to do more. And they want to do more with you or for you. But I feel like they can't. Because they could be having some financial setbacks. So that's what I see. Um, yeah, with the Page of Swords... I do feel like um, this person is having a hard time with being able to relay this message to you. I mean, I told you he was going to get nosy today, but they having a, a issue with relaying this message to you. So if this is someone who you suspect to be a crush, maybe they won't say these things. Or if this is someone that you're already dating, um, you know, they they there's more to the story about, you know, maybe you are, you're experiencing a lack of, you know, forward moving progress within your relationship and the more to the story is, is that this person is dealing with some financial issues and at times they might, they might feel inadequate to deal with, you know, someone like you. So, um, oh, a divine feminine oracle deck. So let's see what else comes up. What else comes up? So 
with All About Me and the Self Love Club. Um, they definitely see you as someone who definitely cares about yourself, okay? Because that's what this card is about. You're about you. You're about doing what you want to do. You're about doing things that, you know, make you happy. You know, you're taking care of yourself. You're focused on yourself. Like, so these are things that they could be telling other people about you. And this self-love that you have is potentially what could be drawing this person towards you. Um, but... Yeah, for the most part, you you are definitely focused on you. Um, you could be in a rebuilding stage within your life, um, or just focusing more on that uh divine energy that's within you. Um, I wanted to say divine feminine, but I also know that you know a man could potentially uh, choose this pile, or just someone who has more of a masculine energy and and identifies with that divine masculine energy could choose this pile. Um, but it's just like you're more so focused on the like just elevating yourself and your vibration and just stepping more so into that raw divine energy for what it is um this person i think they tell other people they're a bit intimidated they may feel as though they they lack experience or like they're inexperienced or you know for some of these people they could even be younger than you so they might feel like the age um difference between y'all is gonna affect you know the relationship progressing or it's gonna have it's gonna affect that because maybe y'all don't have the same amount of life experience that's something that's coming up here as well um with sticky situation um yeah i think this situation is definitely sticky because <laughs> i said i think it's definitely sticky because if this is someone that you are dealing with and like finances like let's let's keep it real like when it comes to relationships like finances is a big thing okay so it's a sticky situation you know this person feels like if you you know knew what was completely going on with them you would not want to deal with them you know especially with their finances like if you really actually know it's like you're not going to want to deal with them at all so I, I definitely would say that these people are saying like, no, this is a sticky situation, especially because they want to keep you. For some of these people, they want to be possessive over you. Um, they just, I just heard entrapment, entrapment, like just getting you, you know, involved with what's going on with them on the surface. But meanwhile, there's a lot beneath the surface. So I just feel like this person could say, oh, this is a sticky situation. Another sticky situation could be if this is an admirer, maybe they're with someone else. They're in a relationship with someone else, but they see you as a soulmate. You know, that's something that they could be telling someone. I feel like they would be telling that to their friend, you know, of course not to the partner. Um, but yeah, it's just... It's just, I feel like with this person, it's a lot beneath the surface and it's just, it's all not about you, but I feel like these things would affect your relationship or standing with this person, you know? So let's see like what's really going on. Cause this is what they saying about you, but what's really going on? Okay. We have angels, spiritual guidance and protection from harm. Um, <laughs> so y'all are angels. Y'all are angels, or you could definitely have, um, you know, your guardian angel watching over you, protecting you, you know, through this, giving you the spiritual guidance that you need through this. Um, that's really what's going on with you. So we have news is on the way. I mean, this person was having some, a hard time being able to send you this message, but, you know, maybe it is on the way to you. Um, sorry. Give me one second. I have mad cards that fall on the ground. mad cards that fall on the ground so we also have cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control so it's like if this person if this person like that you chose is like someone that you don't want to see yourself with or you don't consider seeing yourself with or they just admire or somebody that you know like you is like the reality of what's really going on is that you would be you would be protected from this person because it just seems as though they do want to have some type of romantic thing going on with you, you know? They want to have some romantic thing going on with you, but they also see that, you know, you're going to protect yourself and you're going to protect your boundaries as well. So if a relationship has not materialized with this person, then I would just look at it as protection. Or if this is someone that you're already with, then still think about it like you're highly protected through this situation. 
So don't feel any type of fear. Don't feel any type of anxiety when it comes to this person because you're you're going to be good at the end of the day, okay? You're going to be good. There's negative forces beyond your control, so you're going to be okay. Um, spear, we, you have spear heart, heartache over what you no longer have. Um, and there was the Five of Cups card that had popped up as well. And that's like definitely heartache and disappointment over something that is gone. So that could definitely apply. Um, cause even for y'all, it seems as though, um, y'all right now could be in the same space as this person. Like you're trying to work on, you know, your own finances. You're trying to work on your own things that you have going on. Like that's what you're focused on. Um, you know, so with that five of cups card and then even here with the, with the page of swords, Maybe it is that you're literally trying to, you know, rebuild yourself as well. And I think that came up too. It's like you're rebuilding, like you're rebuilding, like kind of like the energy of like you just had to start over. You know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe you've experienced some financial setbacks yourself or even with this heartache over what you no longer have, you know, maybe it for some, I just heard like trust issues or something like you're trying to build up your sense of trust with other people. But at the same time, you're trying to make sure that you're protecting yourself. So this person, MO, they know what they want with you. But I just don't know if this person is like what they're telling other people is like they're not on your level or they can't give you, I guess, what you deserve or they have to come correct. You know, they have they can't just approach you any type of way. And here we also have ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. Um, let's get some more cards. So if this is someone that you're involved with and you, you know, you want to be with this person. It's like <laughs> maybe that is something that is very much within the reality as well. Maybe they're just, you know, doing too much. Um overthinking or worrying about the wrong things when it comes to you because maybe that's not the reality of the situation that you would just jump and leave them we have younger woman dealings or relationship with a younger woman there's the aspect of young coming up again um but yeah you could be dealing with a younger woman or um just flip it it could also be a younger man as well um star guaranteed success and then we also have a wish is granted. So I feel like what's really going on with this is that if this person, I feel like communicating these things to you, I feel like not to say like you would just be like, no, but I do think that it will require them to have to, yeah, prove themselves as well. But I definitely do feel like the fear and anxiety that this person is talking about, it just... It's kind of for nothing because it does seem like, you know, you and this person could, you know, be a match or work through this, especially if you're one of those people that are okay with people being ambitious in the meantime and getting their finances together. But if not, you don't have to be, okay? You don't have to be, okay? You don't have to be. A lot of people, they just, they want it to be, a, they want somebody to be a complete finished product and that's okay. You know, other people are okay with, you know, things working out over time, but it's really up to you. But yeah. It just seems like this person might be putting a lot of fear and anxiety into not being the type of person that you deserve or, you know, something like that. But or like you expect too much or they're not the man for you. They're not the woman for you. That type of thing. They like an experience, that type of thing. So there's definitely some anxiety around that. And I think that's what they tell other people um, about you. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right there. I definitely hope that this reading resonated because like with this type of reading is literally just based off of that person's perceptions of you and what they're saying about you. But um, yeah, I can't wait to come back for another reading. So yeah, definitely make sure that you like, comment and subscribe and I will see y'all again. All right, fam, my pile three people, pile three, if you chose the Rose Quartz Crystal with the Tinseltown Tarot Deck, I'm going to get started with your reading. But first and foremost, 
welcome to all the new viewers and a special welcome back to all the returning subscribers it is definitely nice to read for y'all i'm grateful i'm feeling blessed and i'm ready to go okay so the question we're asking um just to give you a reminder is what are they saying about you behind your back um so we're tapping into that um understanding this perception it may not be reality but i also have the tea leaves over here um so we can figure out like actually what's really going on okay what's really going on in reality despite you know this person's perceptions of what they're saying um but yeah make sure you check out all the links in the description box you can find links there to follow me on instagram to donate to my channel just to support is growth um to book a personal reading with me and to also check out my etsy store where i post my line of three and hand painted gel press on nails but let's go ahead and get started we are asking spirit what are they saying about you behind your back what are they saying <laughs> okay, let me get some more cards. Let me get some more cards. Let me get some more. Um, yeah, this pile not as messy as I thought it was. It's not as messy as I thought it was, but let me get y'all some clarification cards and I'm gonna start to read. The person, whoever this person is, I think they want, they want like, I can't say it's the best for you, but they definitely do want, they want better for you. They want better for you. Maybe you've been on edge. I'm just kind of getting the energy that like you've been on edge. Like you've been on the edge. Because what I heard was don't push me. Because I'm close to the edge. <laughs> okay, so this person, what they think about you, I feel like this person has an intimate connection with you. Intimate does not necessarily mean like y'all are dating or you having some type of romantic, romantic type of thing. But this could be like someone that you consider a friend, um, someone who, you know, cares about your well-being because the energy here is like it's a tough love type of energy It's very tough love. Um, first, I was getting like, Ooh, are they hating? But I feel like this is more so tough love because um, what this person is saying about you is like <laughs> they think that you're in your own way. You know, they think that you're in your own way, like that maybe sometimes you're, you know, you're, you sabotage things for yourself or maybe you're afraid to take steps. Like they just don't understand why. Um, but I feel like they think you're in your own way. Like you have so much power within you. Um, but for some reason they don't see like things, not like they don't see things working out for you, but it's like, they don't know how things are going to work out for you. They feel like you have a lot of power within you, but they also feel like you might be a little misdirected. That's something that's coming up as well. Maybe a little misdirected or there are certain things that you can do to make your situation better, but they just don't see you doing those things. Um, for some of them, they feel like you dealt with mental health issues. They might say that like, oh, I think she, this person has mental health issues or something because they're keeping themselves stuck in the same spot or they're not willing to change or they're not willing to transform or they keep going through the same things so some of y'all could be going through they perceive y'all to be going through like the same cycles and things not really changing but they feel like it comes down to your um inability to maybe step out and to not just like try new things but maybe to be a little more fearless and it doesn't matter if you can't trust this person or that person or it doesn't matter if you're uncertain about this thing, just try. And if you have to 
adjust and be flexible or put up boundaries, then do it. But don't hold yourself back. So some of these people could probably be telling people, like, oh, this person holding themselves back. They have so much power within them. Maybe they need to take a step back. You know, maybe you need to do something different. Um, <laughs> some of them think y'all have attitudes. Like y'all need to work on your attitudes and just calm down. Like it's too much sometimes. That's why I feel like it could be this, uh, you know, th these mental health issues. They might see you as someone who like, maybe you're too snappy, you know, maybe you're too snappy or maybe you're difficult to really talk to. And they just think that you need to calm down, like calm yourself down to listen, um, consider someone else's opinion. You know, you need to chill. You need to keep it cool. It's too much with you <laughs> sometimes. Um but yeah, this person definitely does see you as being someone who has the ability to manifest things into your life, but they're probably telling and probably saying that like, you know, no matter what it is that you manifest and it just seems like things aren't working out or it's time for you to manifest things to help change your situation instead of being in the same spot, that type of thing. Um, let's get some more cards. That's what I'm trying to, like, figure out is, like, does this person, is this tough love? Like, what is this? Is this tough love? Like, you know, what is that? Um, Yeah, this person feels like it's time for you to move on. I feel like if this is, you know, you, for some reason it's just giving, like, parents or mother or family or somebody, like, just being like, oh, you need to move on. Like, you've been here long enough. You need to go. Or uh, it's just giving like even a friend that's like, maybe you need to go do something else to find out what's missing in your life. But yeah, this person is telling others that like you might just be stagnant or you staying in the same spot. You know, it's time for you to move. It's time for you to do some other things. I don't think it's coming from a bad place, but you know, tough love can be harsh at times. You know, tough love can definitely be, you know, challenging to deliver and also challenging um to receive but yeah i feel like this person is telling others that like you know you are it's kind of like you're responsible for your own success or you're responsible for your own happiness so if you've been dealing with some mental health issues or just being stagnant or you're self-sabotaging things or you're refusing to change and be flexible it's like that's what this like this person would be saying, you know, those things and like, oh, well, change can't happen until you initiate that change or, or, you know, they're just telling others like you have the abilities, you have the resources to change the situation. You really do. But they don't understand why you're not doing it or even maybe why things aren't happening when they think it should. Um, But I feel like it's more so like, you know, your life hasn't changed or turned around. So some of y'all, you know, could be dealing with, like I said, these issues of self-sabotage and maybe issues taking opportunities or going with the flow of new opportunities so it could change you. But it's like this person, you know, would think that it's like you are, you could be potentially, you know, holding yourself back. They want you to move on and to move forward so that you actually put yourself in a chance to receive these things. Because when you put out energy and effort, it's like, it's going to take some time for it to, you know, return back to you. Not saying it's going to take forever, but I just feel like things are returning. Things are coming to you very slow, slowly, maybe because you haven't thrown yourself 100% into this thing. But it's just some type of like energy of like stagnant, staying in one spot that this person um, would be telling other people like, oh, you're the cause and the blame for why you're in this place like it's your responsibility it's their responsibility type of thing that's why i'm just like is this a parent or a mom or someone talking about you to someone else um but they just feel like you in order for you to you know receive what it is that you want out of life it's like you actually have to go get what it is that you want out of life like you know to get the process rolling um but yeah uh Let's use a Divine Feminine Oracle deck to see what else comes up. Mm -hmm. 
So we have um, the self-care in the reverse, self-care in the reverse. So it could be that, you know, this person um, doesn't think that you have been, you know, prioritizing yourself and maybe putting yourself first and your own self-care. I feel like self-care for this person, whoever it is talking about you, is built on the idea of success and your ability to show up for yourself. And I think that this person sees that you have the power to do so. They acknowledge that you are a powerful person. But I feel like, you know, they acknowledge that you are a powerful person. But I don't think they feel as though you're reaching the highest potential that you could potentially reach. Like, I don't think that they see that. They feel like you could be a little stuck or you could be imposing, you know, some, you know, self-limited beliefs. Or just kind of making things in your life a lot harder than what it needs to be. Um, you know, not living a simpler life. Maybe having issues with moving forward with change and being flexible. Um, but we also have the next lifetime within the reverse. This person could potentially think like, you know, you have, you know, there's telling others like you only have... the. <laughs> what I just heard was YOLO. It's like you only live once. You only have you have this lifetime. Be focused on this lifetime and what you can achieve in this lifetime. They're probably telling people, you know, things like that. It just seems as though this person would tell other people like you're not living up to your uh highest potential. Like you're really not. That's what they could be telling other people. Even though you have the power to, even though you have the power for change, it's like you potentially are really not not doing that and then we also have um the harmony card as well um so they could also um be saying that you know if you did these things or you know you focused on your success or you you know focused on yourself um you know actually you know manifested what you want within your life then it would probably make you a lot you know happier and help you to dispel these self self limiting beliefs or this sabotage or your inability to change they might feel that as well so not to say you're a sad person um but they feel like you could be a little too like your attitude could be a little too snappy or just like really cutting or, you know, <laughs> you probably one of those people that's like, you don't want people in your business. So when people start prying and asking questions, you probably just be like, boundary. You know, you put up a boundary. Um, that's something that they could be telling others as, as well. Like, I don't know what's going on with them, really. You know, like, I really, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say? I really don't. So that's probably why they tell people like i don't know what's going on with this person i just feel like they're stuck or they're not you know manifesting as much as they could or you know they're failing to change or they're staying the same like that type of thing but all right so let's get some tea leaves and let's see what comes up as far as like what is the reality of the situation um so we have um rooster and the rooster is an arrogant boastful person you should not cross um <laughs> an arrogant boastful person you should not cross so maybe you're actually keep it away <laughs> keep it away um let's let's see vine seek out information that will help you so maybe this person um that you have on your mind you probably do see them as like you know an arrogant person um, maybe this person always thinks that, you know, their opinion, you know, their opinion is the end all be all that type of thing. Um, but we also have claw, be careful, do not take risks. So, you know, maybe this, you know, self imposed or, you know, maybe it's best that you be exactly where you are. That's something that I heard as well is like where you are is. It's just like where you are, where you're supposed is where you're supposed to be at every, any given point in time. And it's not to say that y'all aren't working on things or you're not focused on things. It may also just be that this person expects you to be at a certain place now in life and you're just not there. You know, it's just the ebbs and flows of life. So they could be putting a little too much pressure on you to be at a specific place. And maybe you're just not there right now. Um... Let me continue to keep shuffling because some of these cards are the energy from the last reading. 
We also have time to act with a lion. Um, so it's not to say that you have to just jump and start taking risks, but it may be just time for you to, you know, to do, to keep manifesting. Maybe if there's already something that you're working on, just to continue getting into that. Um, but we have Fox, shortness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So it's not to say that you don't have much going on. Um, I just feel like this person wants you to really tap into like your full power and your full potential. But it is showing resourcefulness and shrewdness, especially in business. So that could definitely be you. Um, and that's funny too. Yo, that's funny because you know how like I brought up the messages too about like your attitude and just how people see that you might be a little too spicy for them. It could be like, you know, you might be feeling a little arrogance and you just don't want people in your business. Like it says a person you should not cross. And it came out on top of that queen of swords. So yeah, like you're going to impose your boundaries, um, <laughs> which is funny. I'm thinking this is the other person and it could very much be you. It could very much be you. And that's probably why they feel like you need to calm down. Then we have both money or property through an inheritance, inheritance, winning or windfall. So the reason why I feel like where you are is probably where you're supposed to be, even though this person might feel like you're not doing enough with your potential is like, especially with that three of three of wands, it probably in that boat coming in, it probably is that, you know, your blessings are on the way to you and maybe you just don't need to feel like you have to be anywhere else but where you are right now you know so I get it it's like this person it seemed like it's tough love like they want you to tap into your full potential and whatnot but who's to say that you've always been in this area where things have been self-limiting to you and maybe you you know um, had but different beliefs about yourself that weren't in alignment with who you actually really truly are so if this resonates with you, then you could literally just be going through a, a potentially going through a rough patch or coming out on the other side of a rough patch. You know, it does not necessarily have to mean that this is how you've always been. Then we have boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So it seemed like maybe what's going on with you and what this person is telling other people is kind of like it's not too far fetched from the other, you know? Like their perception and what they saying isn't too out of the way from the reality of what is going on with you, especially if you're resonating with this. Um, but yeah, I definitely do feel as though like this is literally what this person would say. It's like you have you're so powerful, like you can manifest anything, you can do anything that you want, like you should probably do more, increase your efforts so that you can accomplish more. Especially, you know, just with the magician, and even the justice card is like, you know, do more to change your situation to bring yourself, you know, justice. Maybe you're waiting on, you know, the universe to bring it to you or something like that. But they just feel as though you're not doing enough. Um, then we also have Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assure success. So, yeah, you probably you probably just going through like that that's why when it's like this is a momentary thing it's probably just you going you know just how life is with the peaks and valleys it's probably just you experiencing a valley moment and you know in the valley we're learning lessons you know in the valley things may not be a hundred percent clear um but you just got to keep going and with the strength here um with the lion this is a confirmation too and then also we have the harmony card um the harmony card and that is here in alignment with peace as well so it could just be that you you know you're dealing with a rough patch now we also have camel persevere and you will overcome problems yeah so it just seems like y'all are going through some momentary issues right now and it seems as though if this person is around and they're experiencing these things they definitely want you to come up out of this funk and to continue to keep progressing and to continue to keep putting efforts in so that you can actually accomplish your goals um, and not being afraid to change either. It's like, that's why I'm like, this person, they not hating, but it's more so like self-love. Like they will want to push you to, you know, to see you do more or to be more. Um, but yeah, 
I definitely think I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. I hope that this reading was helpful. Um, I hope that you all resonated with it. I cannot wait to continue posting more readings. You know, we are just getting back into it little by little, okay? So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one.